Galatians 5.14 states, for the whole law can be summed up in this one command, love your neighbor as yourself. And as we begin this new day, let us strive to focus on loving one another. We understand by the mere fact that we are all human beings, that we will not always get along, but we are to love one another. We may not always see eye to eye, but we must love one another. You may not always agree with my agenda and I may not always agree with yours, but we must love one another. And it is imperative as we love one another to also love God, but to do our best to dwell together in unity. The psalmist says, oh, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. So we must love God. We must love our neighbor as ourselves, and we must strive to dwell together in unity. May we pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we come now as humbly as we know how, thanking you for this, a new day that you have blessed us to see. We ask you as we begin this day to forgive us of all the wrong that we have contemplated and all the wrong that we have done. We ask you, Father, to create in us a clean heart to renew a steadfast spirit within us and to restore to us the joy of your salvation. Now, as we approach your presence, as we strive to hear a word from you, we ask that you give us godly focus and we ask that you give us a heart to receive that which you have to say to us. We ask, Lord, that we do our best to be a light in the land of the shadow of death. We ask that you give us the illumination of mind so that we are able to teach the truth about you and live and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ to a dying world. We ask that you give us holy boldness as we boldly go into the dark places of this world to minister to your people. Lord, we ask you, Lord, to just give us focus as we strive to be a faithful bride. We ask you to give us guidance as we seek to equip one another. We ask you to give us more love as we endure one another. We ask you to be with our children because many of them are heading off to school now. We ask you to be a hedge of protection around them. We ask you to touch their hearts, their minds. As they go forth, give them the heart to be examples of you in their schools and in their activities. We ask you, Lord, to bless those who are sick. We ask you to bless those who are shut in. We ask you to bless those who have trouble in their home. We ask you to touch every seeker with your finger of love. Let every seeker know that you love them more than anything and that you are here to be their guiding light in the midst of trouble, in the midst of struggle, in the midst of heartache, in the midst of brokenness. You are the way, the truth, and the light. So, Lord, we come now thanking you for being God and God alone as we prepare ourselves to boldly go into this new day. We thank you for being a good God. We thank you for being a redeeming God. We thank you for loving us even in spite of who we are. So we ask you to be with us now as we go forth with the boldness of the Holy Ghost. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory. Forever we pray. And it is in Jesus' strong and matchless name, we all pray. Amen. God bless you and have a blessed day.